In announcing our readiness to build a newer, larger, and cutting-edge version of the Center for Health Promotion and Rehabilitation, we are also announcing with great pride the participation of a distinguished group of philanthropic partners. All three of these donors and donations are worthy of announcement events of their very own, but I think their shared spotlight today is certainly more than three times as bright. The first donation is from Robert Beamish and the W.B. Family Foundation. Bob Beamish and his foundation have long been dedicated to McMaster, its students, and its research enterprise. Their generosity has enhanced student scholarships and bursaries in our Faculty of Engineering, and in 2006, the W.B. Family Foundation made the gift that created the Beamish Family Chair in Peripheral Vascular Surgery. Then, almost exactly three years ago, Bob and accepted my invitation to come to campus for lunch and a tour of the Center for Health Promotion and Rehabilitation. He quickly understood both the importance and the potential of the Center and all but committed to making a large gift on the spot. But he also knew that a single donor could only do so much. He encouraged me to pursue government support and other philanthropic investors. We did and we succeeded. And now here we are today with three gifts and a government grant to announce. But let me begin that series of announcements where this all began with Bob Beamish and the WB Family Foundation. It's a tremendous honor to announce the Foundation's latest gift to McMaster, a true leadership gift, a gift of $2.5 million to create the WB Family Foundation Center for Spinal Cord Research and Rehabilitation. This new center will be part of the Center for Health Promotion and Rehabilitation and will occupy the entire second floor of the new facility. With almost 6,000 square feet of wet and dry lab space and specialized equipment, the WB Family Foundation Center for Spinal Cord Research and Rehabilitation will allow our scientists to conduct sophisticated analyses of movement, to measure patients' gaits or muscle contractions, and ultimately to better understand spinal cord rehabilitation. Bob, this is yet another wonderful gift to yet another area of McMaster. Thank you yet again. Your impact on our university and throughout McMaster on our society as a whole is rapidly becoming one of our great philanthropic stories, and I hope you like the rate of return you're getting on your investments. The next two gifts I have the pleasure of announcing will create specific laboratory spaces within the WB Family Foundation Center. The first of those two gifts will establish the McCall McBain Foundation Neurophysiology Lab. The Foundation's gift of $250,000 is another vital building block for the new Center for Health Promotion and Rehabilitation. Unfortunately, Marcy McCall McBain from the Foundation was unable to join us today, but I would still like to offer my thanks to Marcy and the Foundation in her absence. I'm hoping we will have a visit from Marcy sometime this summer. The third and final gift that we announced today is from Robert Fitzhenry. Bob Fitzhenry and our first donor, Bob Beamish, are partners today in philanthropy but their connection began a long time ago. In fact, the two men built the Woodbridge Group into a global corporation, so it is great to see them working together in charitable as well as in business ventures. Bob Fitzhenry is one of McMaster's most engaged and generous alumni and donors. A former president of the McMaster Alumni Association, Bob also serves as a member of the campaign cabinet for the campaign for McMaster University. Previously, Bob has made signature gifts to create the Robert E. Fitzhenry Vector Laboratory at the Institute of Molecular Medicine and Health, the Robert E. Fitzhenry Studio, and the Robert Fitzhenry Gallery, both in the David Braley Athletic Center, and you'll see the studio a little later at lunch. Today, I'm proud to announce on Robert's behalf a new gift of $1 million to build the Robert Fitzhenry Specialized 
Rehabilitation and Exercise Lab. This lab will be part of the WB Family Foundation Center for Spinal Cord Research and Rehabilitation. The FitzHenry Lab will investigate the impact of physical activity on health and quality of life using a wide range of specialized equipment, including one of only two locomats in Canada. Simply put, the FitzHenry Lab will make McMaster one of the world's best equipped training facilities for people with spinal cord injuries. Bob, it continues to be one of the great honors and pleasures of my presidency to be a keenly interested observer of your philanthropic spirit. Thank you not just for this gift, but for everything you do for our university. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the project, and these are the philanthropists who have brought us together today to look to the future they are making possible. On behalf of a grateful university, and more importantly, on behalf of the untold number of people whose lives will be longer and richer because of their efforts, I say once again, thank you. <laughs>